Hey there everyone, I'm Round the Wheel and you're watching Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. Today, we're going to get the last golden coin, the sixth one. All you got to do is walk down in front of the turtle's mouth and he'll swallow you up. It's mostly a water-based world. You got the whale sleeping down there, he's so peaceful. You got the fish going through, it seems like it might be a pretty simple zone. And for the most part, it is. Oh, I forgot I was small. Huh. Oh well, well this shouldn't pose too much of a challenge. I think there's a mushroom right here at the beginning, in fact. Well, yeah, that makes things really easy. If I had a carrot, I could probably get up there with my rabbit ears, but the fact is I don't, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful for the time being and avoid the puffer fish and the cheap cheeps. And uh, there should be, yeah, that shark has a boxing glove on. That just seems like overkill. He already has big teeth. He doesn't need to go all Mike Tyson on you either. That hardly seems like a fair evolutionary advantage. But here we are in the water. Okay, snorkel fish, you just keep on moving. I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll get a flower and I'll be back to kill your whole family. Rest assured. These sharks are, uh, they're, the sharks are probably the worst threat to us, but we're already halfway through the level. And, uh, this is like the, uh, Hippo Zone level, except there's probably less exciting stuff to explore here. There is a money bag somewhere, though. It's, we should be coming up on it fairly soon. Sharks just gotta keep swimming or they'll die. They apparently also have to keep training for boxing or they'll die. Okay, yeah, a flower is all we're going to get out of this particular row. I don't think, uh, I think you have to actually bring in a carrot from the outside in order to get whatever is up in that alcove we couldn't get into, which I think actually is a star. Okay, let's see. There's coins to be had somewhere in here. We can get them one thing at a time. Not to worry. So where's that invisible coin bag? Well, there it is. That wasn't that hard to find. But it's worth it to explore on the top regions. Of course, it's always worth it to explore everywhere. And wow, we are already at the end of this level. Wow, this could end up being a really short one. Speaking of short, though, I'm actually going to sacrifice my flowerness. Gonna get hit by the shark first. Yeah, I'm gonna take one from this dude. I've never actually gotten what's in these blocks. What is it? Just one one up? That feels like a ripoff for having to lose my item. One of those blocks having a coin? That doesn't seem right. But I'm going to skip the bell for reasons that are soon going to become apparent. Let's make our way down through the blowhole and out the nose and into the second level, which is where we're going to find our secret level. In order to find the secret level, we have to be small. That's a bit unusual. Usually you have to have some kind of special item in order to find the secret level, but this one makes you be small. Okay, oh wow, he is coming back. Wow, this game has really good memory for that sort of stuff. You can't just chuck an item or a shell and think that it's going to be gone. Because this game remembers things, and uh, you got to be on the lookout at all times. Let's make our way past the Gordos. I'm just going to call them Gordos, even if that's not what they're called. Because they look totally like the Kirby Dreamland enemies. Alright. There we go. Yeah, get rid of that thing. And you have to be small to come through this particular passage. And we are not home free yet. we got to go through this pipe, and we got to deal with all sorts of horrors in order to get to the secret exit. First of all, you got these spikes. Yet another different kind of spikes. Man, they were not content to rest on their laurels with this game. There was unique thought put into each and every zone as far as what would make sense geographically for a certain region. This is probably the toughest part right here, getting past the fishbone. Fishbones are just as annoying in this game as they were. And Mario World, holy cow, that like grazed my back. But I'm going to wait for him to go above me. Or nick me in the hat, I guess. Okay, can I? how can I pull this? I don't think I can pull that off from right there. I'm basically going to have to stand with my back like right up against the spike, right? Okay, I have time for it to go down and up one more time. Okay, now I should be good. I'm just going to stay ducked. Stay duck, 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 duck. Mario does have a fairly big hitbox in this game, which is kind of annoying. And once we're past the shark, I think we're home free. There we go. There's our secret exit. We earned that one. And we have 98 lives. All our life hunting before the Mario Zone. All our casino game playing was for naught. Because they don't stockpile. This isn't Donkey Kong Country 2, as I often keep comparing it to. Okay. 
But yeah, this one's going to be a heavily item-based level. We don't want to just hit these blocks in this particular order. We want to go up, and we want to spin jump the top one. Because otherwise, it's fairly hard to get that one up right there. But you see we've got an M shape, which should tell you basically how the rest of this level is going to play out. And A, ah ha ha, yes. We get it, Mario, you're rich. You can afford to spell your name with coins. But yes, every type of item is going to come in handy in this level. The flower for destroying the fire blocks, and getting the attendant eye. Oh, I thought that was going to be a one-up rather than a money bag. Excellent. That's two money bags in the turtle zone already. Wow, that's almost as generous as the Mario zone. Turtle zone is a bit underrated, I think. But I can tell you a part that was exactly in the commercial when we get to it. Wow, how did I not lose that? This game is pretty generally not generous with the item. Like, I could have gotten it and just immediately lost it, probably. And yes, obviously, everything spells out Mario Land 2, and then you're at the end of the level. It's not a very thematically complicated level. And then, for some reason, we have all sorts of items we can get at the end. Oh, I forgot about the short time limit, though, so... Maybe we ought to get cooking back to the uh, turtle zone. Now we get to go back, and the thing that's different is that where the whale was sleeping soundly before, he's now a bit restless. I feel kind of bad for beating the secret level then. Well, don't worry, you'll get over it, I'm sure. Now we can go the regular way out of here. First of all, let's go this way. I do like that there's not much recoil when you hit a block. Uh, unlike other Mario games where... That probably would have posed some sort of problem if we had decided to hit the block while the shark was still underneath us. Let's go this way. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of item over here. Yeah, there's at least one secret item over here. There we go. It's better than nothing. I'll take it. Come on. I was going to say, you going to chick it out on me now? I don't think so. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Now we are... Alright, now we want to come over this way, because the real item I want is over here, but it takes a bit of a complicated process to get over to it. But we got to avoid the bonsai bills first. Which I think it's neat that they come out of a cannon rather than just appearing from off screen, like they did in Mario World. Bit more of an organic origin for those guys. I'm starting to get a little tired of swimming, which sucks because there's still a whole level of this. Well, technically there's still a whole level and a half ahead of us in that regard, I suppose. Oh, yes! I was going to wonder if I could kill the uh, Gordo that way. Okay, he got too far off screen, though. And now all that preparation is going to have come in handy right about here. Man, that is a narrow space to get through those guys. Um, Is there a star somewhere up in here? I feel like there is. Maybe there's a one-up up in here or something, is what I'm sensing. And my spidey sense has failed me. Oh, well. Can't win them all, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting careless in my old age. Okay, up then, I think we might have still, like, one opportunity to get a flower somewhere in this really dangerous part right here. Okay. Okay, that wasn't a flower. I had to go down into the thick of it for nothing. I am very disappointed. That should have been way more than just one coin. Fortunately, though, I think that star I was thinking of is over here. There it is. Let's get cooking. Alright, now don't jump in the water and we should be good. The water is just there to slow us down. Alright. Yes, at least one. Okay, yeah, that was probably just good for one. Well, maybe if I'd have been fast enough, I could have got that guy. Uh, who knows, though. There are a few little detours. This looks like a somewhat complicated maze, but there are a few detours you can take. Uh, chiefly going to the left here, which I think yields yet another bag, actually. Well, it yields at least a one-up, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get that, which is unfortunate, because I'm big. Well, actually, if I go ahead and, uh, voluntarily take the small route, let's see, is there a guy? Yes, there is. There we go, yeah, push me out of there, That that's right, that's more like it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to make another circle for that. Okay, now let's not screw this up this time. Hoo -hoo -hoo! 
That was kind of dangerous, probably, to walk right past that. They don't give you a lot of space to get past those narrow, steely railroad spikes. And here, other than the one in the Mario Zone, is probably the most obvious money bag ever. I think we could probably make it to 999 if we were super careful by the end of the video. I'd like to get at least one more 999 to play one more casino game before we run off to Wario's Castle, which we'll be doing uh, pretty soon. This game is almost over. We've been going in a really strict clockwise order through the levels, and we are going to make it. Okay, now we just walk underneath him. Okay, there we go. And now we just got to swim our way through here, and we should be at the end of the level. I don't think there are any more enemies, save for uh, these guys. And up we go. Not too far, though, because that'll launch us right into spikes. Not sure why I got the bell, actually, because not really anything of profit I can get out of here. Yeah, let's just get the three up. Why not? Alright, I'm starting to feel kind of hollow about collecting one-ups. It's going too far, even for me. Alright, this is a really fun level. We are in the mouth of the whale, which seems to have sealed itself off, actually. And yes, these are Spikes, his giant teeth. Yet another... Man, there's got to be some kind of... You know, I'm not going to do it, but I would encourage somebody to make a unique Spike counter, actually. I think this is Rabbit Ears. Yeah, this is kind of like the sap from the tree zone, but... I'm not that interested in collecting that carrot, because it's much more useful to have a flower around to kill enemies with, including... Fire is not even... That scuba helmet is a cheap scuba helmet. It is not even impervious to fire. I think that it was this part that was in the commercial with the floating Goomba right here. That's the part I was thinking about earlier that I said I was going to mention that was in the commercial for the game. Way back in ye old 1992. God... Feels like forever and a day ago now. Hey, another flower in case we needed it. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to make it to 999 coins, and I'm not about to go grinding for them. But, uh, it was a fun trip while it lasted. Okay. You can actually touch the sides of the teeth safely, which look like they have white blood on the tips of them. Ooh, these things have been used. But they are in excellent condition. Very sturdy. Um, oh, great. Fishbone. And not the band, either. Okay, I think I can get away from you if I'm fast enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is quite a mouth you've got here, Mr. Whale. Although your teeth are not symmetrical. I see you have teeth missing. You are a poor practitioner of hygiene. You die, Turtle Shell. And now this boss is going to be really easy. In fact, we're not even going to get to see what moves it does, because I'm just going to kill it with fire. This is going to be such an anticlimactic boss. Well, okay, it was going to be. Okay, I mostly killed it in that first few shots, so it only required one bounce. But yeah, it shoots babies like a blooper. Kind of weird, they could have just gone with a giant blooper for the boss, but that's not how this game rolls. This game is more creative than that. And we have our sixth coin. All six are in the relief now, so that door is going to open up. Wow, that is some menacing music right there. Almost would sound glitchy if I knew it wasn't going for a mood type effect, but now we can go up in the castle, and whereas before we wouldn't have been able to do anything, we automatically go in, and now the final level stands before us. I will see you guys next time, and we will go ahead and beat the game, and we will fight, fight, face, fa I think I wanted to say face, but then I turned it into fight. We'll defeat Wario, <laughs> and we will get our private island back. So I'll see you guys next time.